it does enable um, uh, aircraft carriers to operate without the very substantial machinery required to um, operate a uh, catapult system. A hydraulically controlled um, uh, mechanism which uh, really flings the aircraft off the carrier, um, uh, it um, requires a great deal of um, equipment and is um, a great deal of uh, energy um, which has to be supplied to it and it uses a lot of fresh water as well. It, it does enable the, um, the carriers to operate a smaller, um, cheaper aircraft um, and the carriers themselves of course are cheaper and more affordable. So you have what they call a clearer deck um, which means it can operate and is in currently operating um, drones and various types of helicopters and sometimes simultaneously with the aircraft. It doesn't require the uh, uh, major machinery backup which the steam catapult requires. It's much less demanding on um, uh, uh, power and um, uh, water. Um, and also um, it can operate, uh, it can launch uh, various types of aircraft of various weights um, without requiring much adjustment between launches. One disadvantage is that they've, it's, it's been a very long gestation period and um, I think they're still seeking um, reliability with them. Uh, it is fitted with a Gerald R Ford, as you, on the Gerald R Ford as you probably know. Uh, and also, according to various reports, the new Chinese carrier, the Fujian, is also going to have this equipment, a uh, Chinese designed version. There are limits on the weight of planes which can uh, use this form of takeoff, and therefore, um, it does limit the load they can carry.